I've been at Trinity for a long time, and I've listened to a lot of auditions, and I see all the worries and the concerns, and uh, it's a difficult time for students. But it doesn't need to be as difficult as people make it out to be, if you know what, what, how to go about it. And certainly planning that far in advance is part of it. Okay. And um, all the college are pretty much the same, except that there are different teachers there. They all have requirements, they all have pressures, they all have um, um, uh, the same, roughly the same kind of auditions. It's up to you to research very, very clearly what you might like about a particular college. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sometimes we get students who come to a college and they don't even know who teaches in the college. They don't know. They've just seen a picture of the building. Or maybe someone has told them uh, the academy is the best college in the UK or... Um, or Trinity is the friendliest college in the UK, or, or the Northern uh, has had a great history of big flute teachers there, or the Welsh Academy is supposed to have been out in the dumps, but apparently doing great now. Reputations are useless. Useless. All the colleges give you a degree, which no one's going to look at in the future. Okay, but at the same time, I don't want to destroy your dream, um, at the same time, it is a very important um, launch for what comes after college, in terms of meeting the people that you might wind up working with. So it's more about people and concepts and ideas than it is about degrees and requirements and hurdles. Okay, and if you approach it with that that frame of mind, really you can achieve a lot. Because in the end, when you're standing there, sitting there, talking to people in the audition, they want to get to know for the, they want to get to know what kind of person you are, as well as what kind of playing. Now, if the playing is very weak, then you might need to try somewhere else. But there are a lot of decent players around that. When they come to sit down and talk to, to the teachers in, in the audition, they come across as either not so terribly uh, curious about things or um, don't have a clear idea about what they want. This is a very important part of the audition that allows you to make a connection with the teachers that, that are listening to you. And it takes you knowing who the people are. It doesn't matter if you don't know the person that's auditioning you. What matters is that you know roughly the names of the people who are teaching there, um, roughly what the college stands for. If you have friends already studying there, really, this is a very good way of sorting out the propaganda that each college puts out from the reality of what the colleges are. Okay. So if you have friends that have left school before you, or someone from Latvia, for instance, like um, I will give you my, uh, my student's name, and she can tell you what Trinity is like, you know, this way you start to have a clear idea of what it's like at the college before you go and play. And it's the same if you were to, to, to audition for an orchestra. Don't just sit in your room practicing your orchestral excerpts until you die. Go to the concerts of the orchestra, meet the flute players, become familiar with, with, with the way their conductor works, with the way the wind section likes to play. You might even get a feeling for the characters, you know. By the time you get to the audition, it's not just how well am I going to play my excerpts, although that's very important. Uh, because you have demystified the orchestra, and you're not putting them on a pedestal. You walk into the room kind of knowing the situation. Psychologically, this is very, very important. It's not only about the playing. And curiously enough, the more we panic and worry about the playing, the worse it gets. Mm -hmm. So there's only a certain amount of time you can do playing. 
while you're not playing, go on the websites, research and ask the questions that you need.